Relational Query Optimization, Part 1, The Plan Space. Here's our familiar architecture of a DBMS stack, and you can see where we are. We're at the last box that we haven't dealt with, which is query parsing and optimization. So after this lecture, you will have uh, seen the entire stack of at least a single user database management system. Query optimization, it's magic, it's really cool. It's the bridge between a declarative domain specific language like SQL and custom imperative computer programs. It allows people to think about what they want as an answer and it automatically generates a program that says how to compute that answer. In terms of you know 2018, when I'm recording this lecture, we would call this AI-driven software synthesis. It's the automatic generation by computers of programs from high-level specifications. And that's really not just marketing. I'm not trying to shine up an old idea in database systems. This is really what people work on in AI-driven software synthesis today. Uh, cutting edge AI today is doing things very similar to what query optimization do for different contexts. It's just that query optimization, this version of the problem, came up a long time ago. In all of this uh, AI-driven software synthesis, essentially what you're doing is you're trying to uh, optimize some function using heuristic pruning to uh, choose in a large search space the best program for a particular specification. And in most of cutting edge AI software synthesis, you're working with a domain specific language of one sort or another. Um, so really this is software synthesis. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's invented a long time ago. Um, and there's modern research going on just today, even in our group here at Berkeley, on using the latest AI techniques to improve query optimization. For example, using deep reinforcement learning as the heuristic way to search the plan space. So we won't learn about the um, cutting edge research today. We'll learn about the foundations, uh, but it's certainly enough to get you thinking about how to use modern AI to make query optimization even more uh, efficient and effective. So the query optimization, the way we know it today, was invented in 1979 by Pat Selinger et al. at IBM Research. Um, and it was invented in the context of a system called System R, which was one of the first uh, pioneering database, relational database systems, uh, and is one of the most influential systems in computer science uh, history. Um, so we'll talk about the Selinger or the System R optimizer, which is what people tend to call it. There was some later work on an optimizer architecture called Cascades, which is commonly used today as well. So the System R and Cascades optimizer architectures are the two most common that you'll hear about when you talk to people who build database systems. Cascades came much later, um, and it has notable differences uh, from the Selinger optimizer, but it is pretty similar in its big picture. So learning either of them uh, is enough to understand the other. And um, the System R optimizer, you know, is a, the original uh, design, and B, a little bit easier to understand than Cascades. So we'll focus on the System R or Selinger optimizer in our discussions.